What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? I'm Father Ed Flanagan. I'm a member of the Franciscan Brotherhood community here at the Holy Land Monastery in Washington, D.C. And on behalf of all of the Franciscan friars who serve our brothers and sisters in the faith in the Holy Land, may I express my thanks for giving the gift of your time uh, to visit our website for a few moments. It has been said, and as you know, it is quite true, that the finest gift that we can give to one another is the gift of our time. May I comment for a few moments on the third of the engaging stories in the Gospel of John on the journey of faith. It is the episode of the raising of Lazarus from the dead. I do so because I am aware that as I speak to you from our Holy Land Friary in Washington, D.C., that there are over 1,200 people who will join the faith community of our Catholic Church at the Easter Vigil in their parishes on Holy Saturday night in the Archdiocese of Washington. A testimony to the vibrancy of our church in these difficult and historic times. These good people have already heard the story of the Samaritan woman at the well where we learn that Jesus himself is the living water who quenches the thirst of the spirit. And then there was the episode of the man born blind, who boldly proclaims that Jesus is the light of the world and does so at great cost to himself. He is thrown out of his community. He's given the heave ho, you might say, from the synagogue. And now this incredible event of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. The gospel passage proclaimed on the fifth Sunday of Lent in the rite of Christian initiation of adults from the A cycle. The episode reminds us that Jesus is the life. The Samaritan woman, he is living water. With the man born blind, he is the light of the world. And now in this episode of the raising of Lazarus, he is the life that he gives life that cannot be touched by death. At the beginning of the story, he seems almost angry about death. He shudders and then asserts his authority over evil and death by calling forth Lazarus from the tomb. It is much to the point that Lazarus emerges wearing the burial shroud. He will die again. I mean, after all, if you have the joy of making a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, you will not find a Mr. Lazarus with either a telephone number or an email address. And in the account of the resurrection of Jesus, himself, the shroud and the headdress are folded neatly and left behind. Lazarus will need his shroud yet again. Jesus will never again need his because he is risen from the dead once, finally, and for all. And so in this year of faith, this episode of the raising of Lazarus from the dead is the ultimate challenge to faith to eternal life after a brief time in this passing world. The Psalms tell us 70 is the sum of our years or 80 if we are strong. But this story, this episode of the raising of Lazarus from the dead is also the ultimate consolation because Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, sent by the Father as Savior. He has died, he is also risen, and he will never die again.
So thank you and God bless you as we prepare for the wonderful events of Holy Week and the celebration of Easter.